Welcome to part three of the Computer Science Innovators Quiz. In this part, we're going to build uh, on our navigation. Uh, something that you may have noticed uh, from uh, testing the app after part two is something similar a problem you may have had in the Sideshow app, which is when you get to the end of the list and you try to add one more to it, you get an error. So the first thing we need to do is fix that. So we're going to do that with an if-then block. So if um, the value, because our list only has three spots in it, so if the value of global index is uh, greater than uh, three, then we need to reset the value simply of global index to one. So if you're at the end of the list and you click next button again, you should go all the way back to the beginning. So that's the first thing we want to do. Make sure that we can loop back around. Uh, the next thing we need is we actually need a new list so that when we press the button uh, to go to the next, the next button, that our picture list uh, moves with it. So we need a new list here. Uh, we'll call this our image list. And we'll pull out a list here. So we're going to make a new list. It's, of course, going to have three answers. So we need to add an item in. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. And our three answers, perhaps, will be, drum roll, please. Dun, 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 dun. We have Alan Turing, the man who broke the German Enigma code. And his image is alanturing.jpg. And then we have, uh, which recent movie showcased first, okay, and we actually called that Mary Jackson, uh, who is one of the ladies featured in uh, the movie, um, in this movie, Mary Jackson dot JPG. The movie, of course, is Hidden Figures. And our last image that we want to be aware of is Grace Hopper, who did many, many things, including developing the language COBOL. Um, so when we press next button, we want that image list to also change. So we got to add that in. Uh, it can also move in the same index so because our index, our, everything is aligned, so our images are aligned to the question list. So we can also move uh, the same way, and we're simply going to put set the, uh, the image, the question image picture. Two, we have to select uh, from a list. Select an item from a list. And we'll also be moving from global index, except this time we need to pick, make sure that we're, uh, the list is image list. So now, both the question list and the image list will change based on the same, when you press next, whatever the value of the index is. So if it's one, the lineup is one, two, line up is two, three, line up is three. Pretty straightforward. Good luck to you.